Hey guys, so apparently a little while ago the cops came over and uh, woke all the stealth campers up. For some reason, I don't know if they, I just didn't wake up when they knocked. I don't remember ever talking to them. Um, there was none of my windows were rolled down or anything. And, uh, but anyways, they left me alone and woke everybody up, ran them off. I wouldn't have answered anyway, so that's probably what went on. And uh, right now, I'm uh, jumping one of the uh, stealth campers because uh, they had uh, left the lights on or what have you, something like that. Uh, or maybe the battery was weak and they were trying to charge something. And uh, so right now, he's uh, in there jumping the vehicle. I have the uh, engine running for him and uh, everything. So, any, anyways, that's quite interesting. Nice thing is, is it's seven in the morning. I probably would have got up in an hour anyway, so if I'm gonna get bothered, that's the way to go. <laughs> Talk to you later. Hey guys, so uh, even though I hadn't gotten contact made with me by the police, I went ahead and chose to uh, leave the Walmart parking lot alone as well and uh, I came over to the 24-hour fitness over here that uh, I worked out in yesterday and I'm gonna still see if I can sneak in an hour or two of sleep before I get up and uh, take my shower here and then uh, I'm gonna do a little workout too and then I'll head over do some more uh, computer work I have uh, another one of the uh, tutoring sessions and then that I'm going to be doing today and then on WordPress that I do online and then uh, to make money and then um, I'm going to probably head off for Vancouver, British Columbia. Hey guys, so I'm over here in uh, Starbucks doing some video editing. So when I'm done here, I'll be headed up to be headed up to um, Bellingham for the evening. Talk to you later. Hey guys, so uh, um, I, I just basically got kicked out of the Starbucks. Uh, it was closing time, so uh, I really got to get faster at editing video. I'm pretty slow, uh, but I did get a couple of days worth knocked out and uh, saved on my laptop before I got the boot. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and drive up to Bellingham, so I'm real close to Vancouver, British Columbia, which I'm going over the border tomorrow, probably about midday, into Canada. And um, so I'm gonna drive about an hour and 20 minutes into Bellingham, Washington, and uh, crash at one of the Walmarts there, I'm hoping. Because uh, I really don't feel like I can crash over here at the one um, I stayed at last night. Uh, I kind of got the boot from there last night, so, uh, well, I didn't personally, but everybody there that had parked bef before basically 12.30 had been woken up and told to leave uh, in the morning, so they left me alone. I, I think that the manager probably checked who was parked in there before they s left when it closes at 12. I came in at 1. I don't think my plate was on the uh, list for the cops to wake up but uh, I got woken up anyways and uh, I, I just don't want to cause myself any trouble going back so I'm gonna head up to Bellingham now and that'll just make my trip tomorrow shorter I'll talk to you guys later when I get up into Bellingham Hey guys, so I'm up here in Bellingham at the Walmart here off of 539 or 593. I can't remember which one it was right now, but uh, we got a bunch of uh, uh, RVs and we got a truck and we got, <laughs> I would say, probably over 20, 25 different uh campers for the night you know urban camping here so <clears throat> you even got 
they even got one that looks like they're semi-permanent over here where they got their trailer parked in here and they've even disconnected it from the uh, truck and everything and they have a car so Bellingham the Walmart in Bellingham looks to be very uh, very accommodating to stealth and urban camping lifestyle type people um, I mean I, I wouldn't be surprised if there's 30 different uh, setups all out here tonight so <clears throat> if you're ever in the Bellingham area and you need a spot to stealth camp for the night uh, the Walmart over here is fantastic for that guys uh, you know I just want to give a real shout out uh, to Daniel I spoke to tonight and uh, you know which Daniel you are there Daniel he uh, he's having some health issues and uh, thinks he might want to do this and uh, <clears throat> I would like it if you guys would uh, put a comment down below the video here telling him you know that he should if it's something he thinks he'd really like to do he needs to work on getting it put together and uh, get out there connect with people and uh, like I'm I'm going to be connecting with some youtubers tomorrow uh, I've met a lot of people out there on this road trip it's been really great um, I've gotten to talk and communicate to a few of you too it's been really it's been really nice for me I've I've enjoyed it and uh, um, I want you guys all to let him know that uh, he should he should be, feel okay about doing this that uh, it's it's all right and uh, if he thinks it would make him happy he needs to get out there and and really live his life you know and uh, get out there in the woods or whatever it is that uh, makes him happy <clears throat> and then uh, I'd like to encourage him and all of you guys to uh, be out there and encouraging others to live their lives in such a way that makes them happy okay I mean, uh, let's really do that. It, it, let's make this a better world. Let's uh, reduce world suck. <laughs> Peace.